Hi, Wilwow MC. This is Egan on RD Lab Redo. I'm probably going to talk a lot about this, just a lot of little things, because um, I usually say oh, I'll talk a little bit about it, and then I end up talking like half an hour. So, first things first. You see in the top right, there's warning overflowed C client render list or renderables list group seven or whatever. When you get the overflow error, you know that's really, really bad. Now, I asked you if you were compiling in fast VVIS, and you say yes because the full VVIS takes way too long. And if it does, that means you've optimized your map poorly. Uh, there are some things that you can do to fix that uh, if it's taking too long. What happens if you don't compile it uh, in normal? Like, if you compile it in fast, then instead of doing all the uh, binary space partition checks and where it splits the map up into different sections and makes it so that if you can't see the other sections then don't render them instead of doing all that stuff it does not do it at all so if i go into matt wireframe here you can see the entire map is being rendered all the time and that's why the FPS is so bad right now it's bad because I have wireframe on but if I turn wireframe off you can see I'm only getting like 30 FPS 40 maybe 40 FPS but like on a typical valve map I'd get 90 so I'm down 50 regular FPS so you know it's not too good um, I, mean, I mean also I'm recording so that helps a little bit but you can see there just like when I look the other way suddenly I get 90 FPS again this thing the teleporter so apparently the teleporter was in this uh, this version of the map I never ever used it uh, you told me you were like uh, oh I was considering moving the teleporter or just using a forward spawn um, yeah I don't know I don't really remember what already asteroid does for that I think they may actually, instead of using a teleporter, I think what they did was they used a uh, condition trigger where if you die while you're inside of the trigger, it just lowers your respawn rate or something so that if you go into the enemy base and you die there, you get a lower respawn. They may have removed that, but I think the functionality still exists. I think they just outed the teleporter altogether, but just to let you know, I had no idea that was there. Oh, this is like my first time I've ever even gone to the intelligence bay. Uh, mostly, I did not... It, wow, oh, this is really messy. Are you mapping on the one grid? It looks very messy. Everything's inside of itself. Also, uh, you don't have a nav mesh here. Uh, I don't know. You probably know how to make a nav mesh where you just go into console and then you type nav underscore generate. And then that'll generate the .nav file in the maps folder. And uh, you'll need to package that into the BSP. So you're going to need to download a program called Vide or a program called Compile Pal. Or you can learn to use the Valve made uh, BSP zip program, but it's a little more advanced because it's command line. Uh, but using like a GUI solution like PackRat, you might have heard of, or Vide. Uh, or even compile pal I think has the functionality to package uh, things into maps like custom content like custom textures but you're gonna need to do that with the nav too uh, there, I should mention a warning a preemptive warning that if you plan to put the map onto the workshop as far as I've heard putting a nav into the map before packing onto the workshop or, or uh, when you, yeah when you put it onto the workshop it does this packing thing where it like sizes down the BSP file size or whatever uh, just so the file size is like optimized for the workshop downloads um, but that process seems to break uh, packaged in .nav files to BSPs so in the meantime I would recommend packing it into the map but you know when you get to lab uh, release candidate one or beta five or whatever when you're planning to release it onto the workshop system then i would recommend not packing in the uh, nav file and instead just 
including it in a download like a Dropbox download or even excuse me a download from tftmaps.net's download system and just like pasting that in like the description and go here you need the nav mesh here it is uh, external download maybe Valve will finally fix that bug where it just crashes when you load a map with a .nav file in it but in the meantime you gotta do this workaround where you just include it externally okay so uh, your map is pretty messy why is the ceiling so low in here I should probably be able to jump the door being kinda smushed is probably fine but like look how tiny this is look how tiny this is I know it's like a secret vent route but like you can't I don't know also this is a very bad way of doing stairs but whatever um, you know what I don't know if I can check from here I'm gonna try to check okay well it appears I am oh my fuck I should not look over that way I remember one time I looked that way on an unoptimized map and my entire game crashed so I will not look over there again okay so I don't know if you know about this but there's an entity a brush entity like a, a trigger for a door or the door itself another brush entity called funk detail and what it does is it's actually not an entity it's just a thing that you use and hammer and what it does is it tells the compiler to exclude the geometry that you make a funk detail from the the you know the optimizing system VVIS that's what com the VVIS thing does is it goes okay well uh, the, the, the compile command or the console command that I used which is here Matt Leaf Viz 3 uh, what it does is everywhere that you have world geometry you know typically walls but if you know something isn't funk detail it's gonna count it as world geometry sorry excuse me again I ate not too long ago so I'm gonna be burping occasionally through this video um, yeah so if you don't make something a funk detail it's gonna be treated as world geometry and what that means is that the compiler is going to have to ask every single section of every in, like all these boxes every single tiny box but even all these stairs every single one of all this it's gonna ask okay box you know number 53,650 can you see box 53,651 if so render it if not don't render it and then does that for all the boxes which are, oh maybe they're hidden from this point of view anyway so I, I think the fast VVS actually maybe uh, does do a little bit of optimizing but very low amount I think it does like one pass or something I, I, I haven't really read into the technical aspect of it but it does a low amount but if you go into hammer and you select all these brushes of all this staircase and you hit control T tie it to an entity and you make it a funk detail it will exclude uh, it from being you know like optimized for the BSP stuff I, I'm not really sure what that process is called the, the name escapes me I'm not actually sure I know the word for it but anyway just make it all funk detail and it'll number one cut down on compile times by a lot number two it'll make it so that you know there's not so many calculations being asked of the player because constantly every time I move into a new block a new like a uh, you know red square cube thing it's gonna be asking me hey can you see all these other ones in the entire level all of them that are currently being drawn if you can then draw all the stuff inside of it you know so that's why it's like hiding sometimes so you know when I come up these stairs and it suddenly renders like a billion of them over that way it's gonna slow down your computer and so so you do want to be running on uh, normal VVIS so that all the calculations go through and optimizes it to its best possible extent 
but you also want to use your optimizing tools for that, like turning things that aren't world geometry, you know, things that are not the edge of the map, things that aren't sealing the map from the void, things that you would want to hide sections, you know, like uh, big walls or corners or the walls of bases or you know things that actually hide things you know but if it's small things like this like what does this hide it's not it doesn't really hide anything maybe it kind of you know stops those things from rendering when I'm standing underneath it but that's like that's maybe 0.1 FPS compared to all that which is you can see in the top right my FPS just tanked so make all this shit Funk detail. I'll go through a couple more uh, examples of what you should make funk detail, but I'm going to turn Matt Leaf of his uh, back to normal. Okay, so stairs, funk detail. These stairs, you should probably funk detail too. Um, anything that's typically on an angle, you want to do that because it just adds extra shit. So, like this, you might want to funk detail. This may want to funk detail. This, you might want to funk detail. You don't have to. I know Valve doesn't do it on all angles, so typically on like roof, they might not funk detail. Uh, but you know, like this thing, this angled thing, that's a probably bad offender. So you want to make sure that brush there is funk detailed. All these stairs, funk detail. Um, same with these stairs and all these stairs. Basically, all the stairs. And that thing too. Let me go into the middle of the map. Oh, all these cylinders, make sure those are funk detailed. Is there water? Oh, there is water in here. Weird. Okay, uh, so this thing, I hope you funk detailed. All this glass, I think actually, uh, by default, anything that is transparent will not uh, cut the uh, vis leaves, those blocks, and, and, and uh, be considered world geometry. So anything that's translucent, I don't think you have to make funk detail, but like this thing. You can make funk detail. That thing, you know. Maybe you can even make all three pillars one funk detail. Um, you know, maybe these little pillars and things you make funk detail. I hope that vent is funk detail. I hope this door is funk detail. I hope these stairs are funk detail. I hope frames. I don't know if you have frames, but I hope this thing. I hope this edge of the glass is funk detail. I hope uh, those windmill things are funk detail. Oh my god, are you not using displacements? Wow, okay. Yeah, there is a way better way of doing a 3D skybox, by the way. I hope you didn't, like, just keep trying over and over until it lined up, and then cut things until it finally did. Because that's not the way you do it, and I have a feeling that's what you did to get it to line up, and that's not how you do it, and it probably took a while. Um, so I don't know, it kind of looks like you used some displacements over there, maybe? Yeah, it kind of looks like you're using displacements, maybe. Oh, and, and mid has displacements, so you know about the displacement tool. Um, I'm not sure if you know about it, especially considering you're not using it here, but, uh, and I remember the first time I knew about it, or, or had to learn about it, it took me a, wh a while, a long time, it took me probably three years before I fu fully understood it enough to want to use it, uh, sewing displacements. So what that means is if you have a displacement, say like a block, like let me give you an example. Uh, maybe I can find something in this map that would give me a, that would be a good example of it. Uh, ba -ba 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 hmm. Yeah, everything's kind of off grid, so it's making it a little bit complex to find something that is next to something else. Uh, huh. Weird. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe this? No, not really. Wow, okay. I was hoping I'd find something, but I'm not really finding anything. Uh, okay, something like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, yeah, alright. Right, okay, I can't unclip there. But consider if this was a cut and this was a cut so you'd have a rectangle here and you have some QB thingy here and another rectangle along here just consider right? it's probably not that it's probably one rectangle and then another rectangle that flashing is driving me insane one second I need full ammo so that thing stop flashing so 
just and it's probably not but imagine this is a rectangle that's a thing the, the corner is its own block and then another block is this way so what happens is if you were to make the top of this a displacement the top of this a displacement and the top of this a displacement because the edges line up perfectly or you can make them halfway line up like uh, from this to the halfway vertice because uh, there is like a vertice there um, you could either do the halfway or just make sure that you know the corners line up then these displacements are able to be sewn together I'm gonna burp one sec okay so and what sewing does I'm sure you've probably heard of it by now is it makes it so that all the vertices along the edges get automatically like teleported to each other and lined up so that there's no weirdness you know no uh, cut between them awkwardly and you have to do some weird lining up shit no it's an automatic process so you really want to make sure you're able to sew displacements by making the blocks out of like making the 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 area of your where you want your hills your displacements to go making it out of blocks so for instance here you have a displacement that goes to around here ish I'll just place my spray here it goes around there and then around here on the other side so if this was where you wanted to have your hill then you'd make like an exact same size block right next to it uh, and then again on this side and then one on that side and one on that side so it's like on all four sides and it all lines up just like this one where the corners line up so you'd have you know your hill area and then you'd have something that lines up there lines up there lines up there and lines up there now if you want that to sew with that that to sew with that it's just this side that needs to be sewn together um, and and another thing to mention here which is pretty important is that it should be a four-sided polygon it's got to be like or you know a six-sided polygon or uh, you can't make a triangle displacement you can't make like a five-sided displacement it's got to be four sides on the on the displacement thing you know what I mean so like this has got to be boop 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 yeah and you probably know about that already because if you try to it just gives you an error I think I actually haven't tried it in a while so I'm not really sure if it gives you an error or not but probably it gives you an error um, so it'd be a lot easier if I had like a drawing program uh, maybe I could actually Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, this is handy, handy dandy. Okay, so here's your displacement, and if you wanted to have a sewable displacement right next to it, you're gonna make sure that those corners line up, and then you could do one on this side too, or you know, close enough, right? Yeah, want it to line up. Okay. I tried to copy and paste that one, but it didn't really work. Okay, so you can have this. You can even have them not the same, you know, distance or whatever. But these all sew. Now, the really cool thing about displacements is that if you go into vertex editing mode, you know, so if you turn on vertex editing mode, you're going to see, like, vertices. I don't know how well you can see these dots in the video, but you're going to see points on all the corners of all the boxes, and you're able to edit. Uh, you know using uh, the transform tools like uh, you know the XYZ positions of all these vertices you're able to change where they are of all these boxes and the really cool thing about displacements all just to make them so you just have to make sure that they line up you know along the edges here uh, about the same distance so what you could do is take this vertice and this vertice and just move them into the same position right here so if it were to happen to this edge over here uh, I hope I can do this I'm gonna just make another red dot here just so it doesn't cut uh, I'm gonna paste this white as well so what you can do here in the end what it would turn out to be is you'd have something like this and you can do something like this and like this 
So wait, no, it would be like this actually. So you could do something like this, and that will still sew. You know, I guess it would actually be like this, right? Like that. Like that. Not like that. Okay, so this, this will all sew together. So it would be a lot easier to show this in hammer, but I'm not gonna open a hammer because I'm actually running low on RAM right now. But this will also, this will sew with this, but they'll sew with this. That'll all sew together. So that's what you want to do in hammer or er, in hammer and TF2. You know, you want to do those corners or like something like this. You know, have something that continues on that way, continues on that way, continues on that way, continues on that way, and then just continues like that, like a grid, a grid of brushes for your displacements so that way it all sews and that way you're not you know overlapping displacement on top of regular geometry I'm not sure if you're doing that it kind of looks like you are where it all gets really dark down here uh, so yeah you wanna make sure you be doing proper displacements and then um, you know what I'll link a video maybe I could do an annotation right now I'll probably forget but I'll at least link it in the description how to do proper 3D skyboxes because I don't know if you know how to do them but uh, there's a guy named Top Hat Waffle he does a pretty good maybe even Crash has a video on it but I kind of doubt it at the moment uh, a video on how to do 3D skyboxes uh, there's a there's an easy method it kind of looks like you did the hard way but there is an easy method and uh, it uh, takes you know maybe five minutes and it saves a lot of time so I'm gonna link it in the video description so hopefully it helps so I'm gonna hide the rest of the stuff in the video okay what else is there to talk about uh, let me actually open your steam chat and see what you said You say, well, the first issue was regarding mid. It's too big and boring and controlled too easily by snipers. Yes, yes, we noticed that. Uh, I mean, right now, you come out of the base, you go, you know what? I'll go sniper. I'll go sniper. I'll disable those respawn times so that I just respawn real quick. All right, so come out of the base and like, all right, maybe it's not too bad here, but I mean, it okay so the thing is about sniper sight lines is that you want to make it make make sure that wherever there's a sniper sight line there's a way that you can take to beat the sniper without him seeing you you know so like if there is a tunnel like this one you know like some tunnel like this we're able to take it and dodge that sniper sight line you know and it goes a long way, or maybe it's more risky or something, it just takes longer and you're able to beat the sniper sight line. Something like that, that would be good. Uh, but this one, you end up just going up to the sniper sight line anyway. So if I was just camping here, and you ended up taking that back alley route, well, you're gonna have to go over this wall right here anyway. So the moment you do that, well, I'm still going to be sitting here with my sniper rifle. So I'm going to be like, hmm, pow, and you're dead. Right? So you'd want to have something. If this was your flanking route, which by the way is really long, you should really try to, okay, go on to RD Asteroid, right? Uh, enable some timer at the top of your map. I don't know if you have a timer on this map. Yeah, okay, no, you don't have a timer on this map. But if you had a team round timer entity, you can have a timer on your map. And you can, or even just use a stopwatch or something, you know? Time, or even count, you know? The seconds, how long it takes for me to get from one base to the other, or from one base to mid on the map, you know? And actually time it, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Something like nine, it's gonna take like 18 seconds to get across the middle of your map 18 seconds that's a long time on RD asteroid it's probably like nine 
like half as much yeah it's actually probably about half maybe a little bit more it's probably like 10 seconds probably like right here from that base maybe even less than that but it's a lot less and, and that's the thing that's important is that this is really long really long there's no way to beat the sniper who is standing on top of that hill or standing right here like like what alternative way is there to go through here like I can see all exits out of the base I can see everything you know there's no alternative thing like on RD asteroid there's the low route you know there's a route that starts in the base goes low completely bypasses everything and then ends up back in the base anyway you could do something like that like uh, I, there's a word that the naughty dog developers described themselves standing on the shoulders of giants you know their Jack and Daxter game was very similar standing on the shoulders of giants of Super Mario World or uh, Super Mario 64 I think actually that they based Jack and Daxter off of but something like that you know it's it's fine to do that like if instead of this battlements thing okay this door is really stupid why is it so small I know that's like theming cuz like it's this big at least if you're gonna do that make it two doors you know another door open on this side or open on the other side so it's not in the way you know if the door was going this way like along there and then along there and you have a double wide door and it's both open if you really want to do the theming of the door okay but you know make it too wide because look how short this is you like if a guy was standing here you couldn't bypass him if like a spy decided to take this route and there's some guy just standing there or a dispenser standing you couldn't get through like I know that, that you, you could say well that's a strategy but no other map does it for a reason it's because it's annoying it just takes the fun out of it you know so you don't want to do that so make things able to get through like this door widen it double it you know what's with the glass above it are you ready theming glass is that like a bug you accidentally applied the glass texture and you're like okay glass should go there maybe it looks good it looks weird doesn't I, I don't think I've ever seen that where they have a solid hard thick metal door it's all rustic and then glass right above it you know glass uh, so if instead this route instead of you know going through the tiny door and then going up to battlements which I guess were kind of useful because they did give you height. If instead of that, there is like a route that just went and it just led immediately up into the other guy's base, then that would be cool. And also, it wouldn't be so weird because if you cut, like seriously, you should just like cut all this shit out of there. Like a lipo section, just go and just like delete it all or whatever. Even just delete the entire middle section and just take all this and shove it right in there and then just or maybe not delete the middle section because it's kind of unique but just take all this shit actually I remember liking the boxes this little box thing I kind of liked that so if you really wanted to keep that you're gonna have to time the distance to see what it should be but I kind of think like the enemy base should be right here and then have the entrance in like right here you know that should be like the distance uh, it's a little bit weird I should mention how long oh my god is that a straight sight line out of the base is that really like there's no glass here at all why is that so long so like you're telling me if I somehow got up on top of here I can camp like way over here that's an incredibly long sniper sightline and what you could do is you can put like a foyer I think it's F O Y E R put some like wall right in front of this door you know just put a wall here or even on the inside just put like a wall here or make this desk thing just raise it up to the ceiling who cares if it's weird looking or something it blocks that sightline which is massive it's so long why does that exist it's also probably not very good for optimization either because if you're standing in here you're also rendering everything out there in a big 
big wide area okay so okay those things I've talked about alone are probably enough to keep you busy for a while so you know uh, I would say hmm yeah I, w I would say that this area of space felt decent but I would definitely shorten mid so I would probably actually take all this from here to around here and delete it take everything on you know red base move it closer to a lot and move it this way to, to blue base even potentially line it up a little bit more and then do a new mid I like the addition of height because it does block those sniper sight lines from across the way uh, you know like on RD asteroid there's the bridge and the bridge has like almost like a rib cage to it where it blocks the sniper sight lines and stuff something like that or not necessarily like the bridge rib cage but like even like a hill you could do like some little mound you know something like right there that you can even like maybe double jump from here as a scout onto here run along and then double jump immediately to the boxes because you're gonna shorten this distance between here and here by a lot if you just added more geometry you could you could if you wanted to add like keep the same distance of walk times you could it's just gonna add to the tediousness of the map because I think something you got to keep in mind is that people especially on this map are going to be defending B they're going to be defending B they're going to be defending A they're also going to be standing outside of their base and then they're also going to be slowly moving to the sniper trudging I would describe it as trudging into the sniper sight lines and then they're going to have all these people defending all this shit too there's going to be people all over the map that means that when you come in contact with an enemy player you're going to only going to be coming in contact with one maybe two enemy players at a time there's not going to be a massive battle like payload badwater you know that second control point where everybody on either team is fighting in like one or two spots in the entire map and you're playing with like nine people in a massive battle and it's just the most epic team fortress 2 defining experience you know that's why close encounter you know i think that's called qcb style maps things that are too short are usually more fun than things that are too long because you're going to have these massive battles you know so bringing one team immediately closer to the other is a pretty good thing to do uh number one it'll cut down on those crazy sniper sightlines because things will just be more offset instead of at a distance uh, number two it'll make it more interesting number three i mean yeah i mean it'll make it more interesting because like if you get rid of the boring open ridiculousness uh walk times it'll bring people closer to each other okay so that that's the one thing you definitely should do uh, the other thing you should definitely do is all that funk detailing all these stairs i hope those are funk detailed this massive thing i hope it's a funk detail uh all these pillars and weird geometry artistic stuff i hope it's funk detail the door i hope it's funk detail glass again not necessarily needs to be funk deals you can you could make it a funk detail it doesn't need to be because because it's translucent the game already knows not to consider hiding things behind it because it, you can't you know so i'm pretty sure like this thing which i could barely see by the way this is like a freaking invisible room or something what is this just a chicken wire block who makes just a block out of chicken wire like where are we? Are we in a chicken coop? Are these chickens? Is the idea to make these chickens eventually? You gotta kill chickens and you gotta steal their eggs or something? If that's the idea, then oh, that's a decent idea. But like at the moment, a little bit weird. But it's a lab, I guess. So what's with the, the chicken wire? Or, or just the weird fence? What is this? Also, this room is dark. Also, this room is messy. It looks really messy. Why do you have, like, these walls here that are so thin? Why do they look like I could just push them over if I ran my body into them? What are they? Why are they so thin? That doesn't look natural. What are they? What is with this weird, like, I know it's supposed to be, like, spy techy, and it's even got, like, shimmering effect on it. It's supposed to be maybe, like, a big tank. You know, maybe that's got a style to it. Maybe. But are, why are there no supports on it? I mean, it looks pretty unique. You know, this room looks pretty unique. It probably actually took you a really long time to build it or something. 
maybe actually genuinely this is actually kind of interesting i like this uh crow's nest kind of feel it almost feels like a pirate ship or something um it actually it's pretty unique gotta admit pretty unique even with the windows not too bad but uh you know it's messy looks really really messy because everything's really thin and you can barely see through the glass everything's really thin what's with everything being really thin you know also that's another thing there's no real transition into the outside I mean I don't know if you have a narrative in mind for your map but it just it's a bit weird that you just go immediately from outside to inside like and, and like this is hardcore spy tech you know these are very sensitive computers and shit and like this is where they're doing lab experiments and like 10 meters this way you're going through a big open door and there's gravel and dirt don't you think that look that's a bit weird like i know this is team fortress 2 and it's a cartoon game but like wouldn't you expect this room to be a bit dirty or messy or something anyway so you do the displacements proper hopefully you don't have to and then maybe do the 3d skybox if you really want to you don't need to do a 3d skybox in beta or alpha maps by the way uh you know what i'll link you to the alpha naming convention video too that crash did because that's pretty important uh yeah i don't you asked about the teleporter i don't know maybe keep the teleporter in just for now for simplicity of ease of transition to the second version of your redo maybe keep it in just for now i'd say definitely redo mid make it closer cut out the middle section just like liposuction that mid and just maybe do something small you know like the width of this to this do like a balcony like that right in the middle but then otherwise just completely gut the middle of the map just gut it just just get rid of it like you know get it just throw it away just delete it gone okay so you do that uh, and then you funk detail everything and compile with VVIS on fat or not fast normal on normal I meant do it on normal not fast do that on normal you fix mid you don't even necessarily have to redo all this geometry just make sure it's funk detailed and shit bring people closer together from mid mid was probably mid and the FPS are the biggest defenders the mid the FPS fix that fix those sight lines I mean naturally the sight lines are probably gonna be fixed just by bringing things closer together um, maybe do the underground route instead of having a door just here maybe do an underground route that leads up into the enemy's thingy like that too you know that could be kind of interesting um, maybe okay so number one underground route number two mid just got it number three funk details do those three things do those three things do those three things and then it won't take that long I mean if you just erase mid right now just like from the face of the earth just get rid of it like select it all delete it you know save it new file save a new file like so this is backed up so you know, control s or control shift s or whatever they can save as command is save as redo v2 or redo whatever or a3 it should be the alpha naming convention a3 just immediately delete mid you know don't even think about it too hard what do I want to keep no just get rid of it all of it get rid of it it's gone get rid of it okay so it's gotten rid of and then you build your new balcony and you bring red team over and smoosh it into blue base it's a lot closer a lot tighter a lot more interesting things are closer together and you get this feeling together all right so you do that you, you, you funk detail and then I'm, I, I am re-emphasizing this over and over because it's very important and this video's probably gone on for way too long, but you know what? I, you know, this kind of stuff, if you're looking at this and you're like, why is that happening? It's because you have way too many cuts in your app. You know, remember that overflow error that we got? Like, let me turn on leaf viz again. It's because you're getting weird cuts like this. You got these weird things that the engines like I don't know what to do there are too many cuts what's with these staircases with a million billion cuts there's so many cuts look at this staircase look how many 
areas of worlds it generated. I can't even stand in those, but it's still considering them. And look how low my FPS is. Oh god, right? Because you have so many cuts, that's why this little thing was occurring here. And it's like, it doesn't even know what to do with it. There's too many cuts to, to worry about. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see, yeah. So you know what? I'll uh, I'll copy the command into the uh, description too, so you can see everything that is making a cut on the world. You want to make sure that that isn't making a cut on the world anymore, or not necessarily everything, but just things that are you know not hiding anything, like like these pillars. What are these pillars hiding? I can see nearly through them. I shouldn't. They aren't hiding anything, so no, like turn them into funk detail. Like look, look, look how many cuts. I can't even stand there, but it's still making a billion cuts. Okay, that's the end of this video. Emphasize a lot of those things. I'll post those things in the description. That's it. I have any more questions? You can personal message me. You have me on Steam, uh, or comment in the video for something because I think I get alerts for that. And that's it. See ya.